वेलकम टू विजुअल बेसिक 2010 हैव अ ब्यूटीफुल डे टू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल वॉच विजुअल बेसिक 2010 वीडियो चैप्टर वन टू एंड थ्री दैट इज सेक्शन वन टू सेक्शन सिक्स इफ नॉट काइंडली वॉच फुली आई गेव द लिंक ऑफ सेक्शन वन टू सिक्स एज वेल एज चैप्टर वन एंड टू वर्कशीट विथ आंसर्स in this video description also if you watch previous video then it is easy to follow the concept of visual basic 2010 as well as to answer for worksheet in section 6 we started the chapter 3 that stools control statement and loops in visual basic so we learn about checkbox control already right so today we are going to see only the conditional statement that is last class we learned checkbox right so this checkbox this is the checkbox you all know and we design the layer like this form with label text box and checkbox and after that we done the coding and yes this is the coding part what we learned and after the coding we executed the program and we got the output successfully if you are not clear in this concept just watch section 6 and clarify your doubt today we are going to see the conditional statement it is very interesting this conditional statement in a program controls the flow of program based on some conditions okay so in this we are going to see only the if statement if statement is called a conditional control statement okay from the sentence it is very clear conditional control statement so example so if you are uh, 18 years old then you are eligible to vote and you are eligible to obtain a license also this is a just a simple english sentence right the if statement in bb is also similar to simple english so this is a syntax for uh, if statement see here if condition then statement else the statement if else so with the example uh, we we related Uh, if the condition what we are going to give us age is greater than eighteen, then the statement it display the message that you are eligible to vote. Else, okay, it display the message that you are not eligible to vote. So this is our target. So for this, we want to design the form. So this is the coding part. We need the designing part. so we need two labels for one is for title and another is one to get this enter your age and here is a text box to get the uh, input and here we are going to use the button so this is the designing part once the designing is over we want to double click this button so it will take to a coding part like this here you want to notice this lines okay so first lines if statement will be evaluated if the number is greater than 18 see here this message okay else the second uh, message box that is else statement will be evaluated if the number is less than 18 it is a very simple concept just we'll go for the demo section just i'll open microsoft visual studio let us design this in bb and try the coding just go to the new project and windows form application and you can give okay yes so you can extend the form how you need we need two labels right so in the tool box just l search label is there just select the label drag it here and place at the center now check the properties and is text is there right in the label 
just if you want to replace the title I'm going to replace as if statement yes enter just I want to replace the color and size just scroll up font color just click it here click the arrow go to the custom choose the color what you want is the color change now go to the font want to increase the font just click this Choose the font style and then size what you want. Yes. Okay. The font also changed, right? So to save my time, what I'm going to do, just click this. Control C copy. Click outside. Control V paste. Yes. Now go to the move. This is a property. Only I am going to change the text alone. Okay. So I delete this by using the backspace enter your age and if you need colon you can have it enter the content change I want to change the color go to the four color just click it here click the arrow mark go to the custom just choose the color what you want is yes, the color also change right so next step is we need a text box T you check it text box here right just select the text box and drag it here okay now we need a button just scroll up b will be at the top right so choose this button here select this button and drag it here that's very simple yes now we want to change the content inside the button so go to the property and select the text select here you use backspace delete that change the content check eligibility okay and then enter <coughs> it's too small so i want to change the font color and font style it's just four color just click this go to the custom i'll choose green color color alone change font click here the three dot and change the font size that you want okay yes fine if you want to give the background for this form and button that's your wish okay you can apply that also uh, now just double click this checkbox uh, that is uh, button double click it will take you to the coding part so you must type the code in the click event which is already selected see here this is a click event here I am going to just recall the syntax if condition right if value we want to take the value so while we are giving open bracket only one text box is there right text box and dot text you can use the backspace sorry spacebar to get the tags and close this as greater than symbol 18 thing enter and message box sage box and open this one within the double quotes you want to type you are eligible Okay, you are eligible to your oath and you want to close this close the bracket also okay and then just enter else just recall the syntax here else enter to save time just I'm going to track this Control C copy. I click here and Control V. So just I'll change the slight changes. Sorry, no need to type full thing. You are not eligible. If you want to give not. Yes. Now the thing is ready, right? End if will be predefined there. Now the coding is over. Okay. So this is the run button, just click it here, yes, maximize it. Now I am going to give 12, 
check sorry you are not eligible to vote right okay because the number is 12 when i change number as uh, 20 check click this yes you are eligible to vote it's working perfectly right just yes okay and you can minimize it and go to file you can give save all and you can save the program so browse where you want to save just in demo i'll give us age program give the name for this and you can select this folder and you can save okay so this is a very simple thing yes so coding part is over and after the coding see here first L statement will be executed since the number is less than 18 and second thing the if statement will be executed since the number is greater than 18 okay I hope this is very clear and just you can answer you can check your knowledge what are the two types of data types and why they must use additional to this what is the shortcut key used to run the visual basic program so just find the answer and you can answer it we come to end of this section we'll meet on new section thank you keep smile be happy and be safe bye bye